How's it going guys, Rob here and welcome to 3 Minutes or Less, the show where I review a tech item in less than 180 seconds. This is the LG 29WN600. It is a 29 inch ultra wide monitor from LG. It has a resolution of 2560 by 1080 p so it has 33% more screen real estate than your average 24 inch 1080p monitor. And it is an IPS monitor, so you are going to get much better color accuracy and better viewing angles right out of the box. So the stand is absolutely not good. It's a basic stand. It doesn't have any height adjustability and you can't even swivel the monitor left or right. All it has is a slight up and down tilt feature, which is very, very basic. However, the monitor is VESA compatible. So if you want to get yourself an aftermarket VESA mount, you can, so you can have a bit more flexibility and control on this monitor. As you can see, I even have it on a little bit of a monitor riser because I find the base stand just a bit too low. But for the price, you can't complain. This is a very budget oriented monitor coming in at less than $200 US, I believe $180 US. Um, at the moment right now and if you look maybe secondhand you can find an even better price than that um, so it does have a power brick on the outside of the monitor as well so it's not built into the monitor so just something to deal with for cable management there is an additional white power brick that comes with it the back of the monitor is this like matte white color looks very good very clean i have no issues with it there is three display inputs on the back so you have two hdmis and one display port so you have that flexibility to have multiple devices connected you have a headphone jack and the monitor does also have built-in speakers now usually monitor speakers are really bad and this one is not the greatest however i've seen a lot worse so they do sound pretty decent up to a certain amount of volume after when it gets too loud and it does actually get very loud surprisingly the sound gets a bit distorted but if you can find that sweet spot I have absolutely no issues using the speakers of this monitor for let's say a conference call or even just listening to some background music. However, if you do want a game or something, I would still recommend getting a proper headset. Now let's talk about gaming for a second because although this is a budget oriented ultra wide, it might appeal to a lot of gamers, especially if you want to play a single player immersive game at 1080p, it's not going to take an extreme amount of hardware to run that much. And it does have a 75 Hertz refresh rate. The monitor's controls are with a little joystick in the middle and I think it works really well. This is where you're going to control uh, the picture quality, the sound volume, anything like that. And it's also going to help you choose your input. There's also some on-screen options. For example, you'll be able to put in um, a crosshair on the monitor if you feel like being a little cheeky. Now this is an IPS monitor, so you're going to get much better color accuracy out of the box and better viewing angles. And it is also rated HDR. It does have HDR certification. However, it's a very um, weak monitor in terms of brightness i believe it's only 250 nits so you're not getting that full hdr experience anyways guys that'll do it for this review hopefully i kept it under three minutes i'm not going to know until after i edit it so let me know if you guys like this quick fire speed running type of uh, video and i will catch you guys next time